Hello everybody, I'm back with another video and today we got mail. Uh, so as you can see, we got the login jotter for this month, which is, uh, sorry about that, which is June. And we got a package in the mail. So I'm excited about this to show you what I got. So let's get started. So let's do the login jotter uh, first. <clears throat> and this is the cover. Super pretty. Usually their covers are pretty top notch. <laughs> I really like that about um, this company. And um, right here it says make a story, tell a story. And then it has the login daughter name. And it has this pretty cute um, illustration. So let's open it up. And this is the inside. It has a ruler with inches. And it here it says daily life records of. And then you put your name, phone number. When you started it, when you ended it, log summary, travel log, if you travel with these. And they also, with these, they give you prompts, uh, which is really nice. I really like that about them. And the prompts are favorite shows growing up, um, a time I acted too hastily, doodle some patterns, someone that has my back, a time I've moved, my go-to grilling recipes, I got it. I got in one little fight and a baseball memory. Those are pretty nice. Um, and for the pages, you can customize to whatever you like. You can do it blank. You can do it like this, um, like I do, or you can do it line. It's on your preference. And they also are numbered, if y'all are into that. And um, you can choose if they want you want them to send you two or one which right now i'm just doing one later on i might change it who knows and here in the back we have the name of it and it's issued design it's called uncle phil and the date is june 2022 and it says login daughter inspiration we hope this month's notebook hit you in the feels like only a fresh prince can the bright colors and funky 90s design made us think of acid wash bucket hats bel air and uncle phil uncle phil and the iconic 90s character had quite a few things in common the low growly voice and the boisterous over the top reactions is a member of the family you didn't want to cross but in the end you knew that they were all bark and no bite when it came down to it uncle phil was there when when times got tough, so this month focus on the Uncle Phil in your life. Write down a few memories of the person that had your back, made you watch your step, and was always there when you needed them. Maybe, maybe even make a, a telling story and try to get to try to be that person for someone else. Log it, jot it, uh, log it, jot it down. Tag us at log and jotter and hashtag log and jotter. All right. <laughs> Also, you can put lists and important dates. And we also get a ruler with uh, centimeters here. In the back it has this uh, cute little face. And you can flip it for uh, pocket carry. And it will look like this. If there's people that like to put it like in their pocket, I don't. I feel like the wear and tear will be bad. But this is the back of the design if you're into that. So this is the login jotter for this month. And let's move on to the other package. Y'all know I'm really chaotic opening uh, packages. Okay, 
opening this whole box for the little fill notes. So, fill notes made another collaboration with um, USPS. Uh, the first one, I think, was only three books, and this one is five. And uh, if y'all want to see the first one that I did, I'll link the video up here. It's um, it's pretty cute designs. I mean, a little plain, right? But I don't know, they're cute. Anything field notes related, I'm down. Even though I like some issues better than others. So this is their Mighty Mississippi uh, issues. And it was in a set of five. Here they are. They all seem to have the same color. And they don't have the little band that goes here. Probably not for them not to cover it. Excuse me, not to cover this. But it does have this paper. And here it tells you that it's a set of five. That is graph paper and that's the 48 memo books. Which are these 48 as well? No, oh, these are 40. So these are um, smaller than a field notes. But in size, they're the same. Oh, shit. Um, so yeah, it says Mighty Mississippi Field Notes. Reflect on your travels or keep track of to do of to do's with these pocket sized notebooks from the classic Field Notes brand. Includes a set of five three and a half by five and a half notebooks, each with two different Missis Mighty Mississippi stamps affixed to the cover and cancel with a pictorial design. Stamps are affixed randomly. Okay. This is what it looks like. And let's go to the first one. And this is the stamp that they are talking about. And it says Mighty Mississippi, first day of issue, Memphis, Tennessee. And then I'm pretty sure the zip code, May 23rd, 2022. And those are the two stamps that we got. Um, inside, it has the typical fill notes look. You put who it belongs to, per pertinent coordinates, start date, and completion date, and location if you finish up and if you take it somewhere. Um, it found please contact, and then you put your email, and then you also can put if there is or there isn't a reward. Um, like they said, it's a graph. It's graph paper, and it has like a brown color of the little squares. Kind of like this brown. Um, and here's the back. And they have um, a ruler for inches. And they have the little practical applications. That is 30 ways that you can um, use this for. And it's like lengthy to-do list. Grocery list. Inspire ramblings. Letters back home. Shoddy sketches. Cockeyed calculation. Crop predictions. Small schematics. Colleague. Um, addresses, hymns and prayers, big ideas, insights, small ideas, notions, family tree lineage, poignant quotes, chain letters, financial planning, escape routes, daily journal entries, oh, that's for me, uh, crafted lyrics, illegible autographs, road trip mileage, shady transaction, <laughs> phone numbers, treasure maps, gambling debts, topography studies, loose promises, scrapbook for uh, fodder, Tall orders and last will and testament. Probably gonna be me. He's gonna put my uh, last uh, will on a field note because the person I am. <laughs> but in the back is pretty plain, just looks like this. So let's move on to the next one. And for these, I'm just gonna show the, the stamps. Because the inside is pro it's probably it's probably gonna be the same stuff. Like yeah, look, graph paper and the uh, practical applications always says the same stuff. I want to show these. These are the next stickers. Well, not stickers, but stamps. These. And these, which is really pretty, it's probably my favorite of 
Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite. Really pretty colors. So yeah, this is pretty exciting. Um, so let me just do my final thoughts on these. So, oh, yeah. For the field notes, usually these, like the past ones were the same way. It just had a stamp in front with some, I don't think the letters look like that. But yeah, like the back is plain and the inside is also pretty plain but i like uh collecting any issues that field notes uh releases because yeah i have a problem and i'm a freak like that <laughs> when everybody in this channel knows that i'm a really big fan of field notes um so any new things that they released i'm probably gonna get them um and the log and jotter is beautiful I haven't been able to use them as um, as one of my mini journals or anything like that, but I don't know, I still like it. And since I do these so often, I kind of want to do like updates on the current mini journal that I'm working on, so y'all can see more or less where I'm at and things like that. And now that I'm daily journaling, it's not daily, but now I can do um so they can go faster but anything exciting that happens to me or anything that i want to document or any feelings or whatever i put in my mini journals so um so nice way to um unwind and also to fill up my books so this is the one that i'm currently using it's just a moleskin uh notebook nothing exciting uh but this is how fat it looks and versus are uh, unused um, field notes or a log and jotters difference uh, For this one, I'm super excited because I just need one more Page was it? Uh, let me show it. Oops, This one I'll do this and I'm done But y'all won't get a flip through Until I show all of my art journals in the channel and then y'all can get one so, um, Yeah, no spoilers but I'm still excited because that means I get to grab one of the of the new notebooks and y'all can see what I choose next. But yeah, I just wanted to give a little journal update. And um, six more mini journals to the pile. And yeah, I have I counted them the other day and I have a bunch of mini journals, so um I can't be waiting for them to finish because I usually will um, spend like a year on each one and I can't have that anymore. Uh, so hope you like this video. Uh, check out all my mini journals and tell me if you like them. And uh, yeah, tell me if y'all got these and what did you think or if you also got the Log and Jotter, the one or two pack. Tell me if you like those as well, which ones do you like better. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. See you guys in the next video. Bye.